In this video, I want to demonstrate how to create a thread using the sweep cut method. And the sweep cut method can create any thread. So first, I'm going to control tab back to my other part. And next, I'm going to select the swept cut thread configuration, and it has no thread right now. So to create the thread, I need two things. I want to use a swept cut feature, and it requires two sketches, a path and a profile. The profiles, the thread profile, think of it as your thread cutting tool if you're going to make this on the lathe, and the path is a helix. So to create a helix, I need a circle. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select this face, and I want to start my helix out here in front so that it cuts properly all the way through the chamfer. So with this face selected, the first thing I'll do is I'm going to go to Reference Geometry Plane, and I'm going to create an offset plane. And for the distance, I'm just going to make it one pitch increment. So one divided by 20. So I start one pitch in front and I'll say OK. And now I've created a plane. And I'm just going to call this the thread OD plane. And in that plane, I want to create a sketch. And all I need is a circle. And that circle will become my helix. So next, I'm going to select this plane until I want a sketch in it. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use Convert to Entities. And I'm just going to convert the OD of this part. I'll select it. I'll right click. And now I have a fully defined sketch. And again, I'll right click and accept my sketch. Now with the sketch selected, we can see how it's highlighted over here. I'm going to come to the drop down menus again and choose curves. And I'm going to say I want to make a helix and a spiral. I'll use the pitch in revolution. I do want a constant pitch. The pitch is 1 over 20 because this is a quarter 20 thread. It's going in the correct direction, so I don't need to reverse it. I'll go for five and a half revolutions. I'm going to start at zero degrees, and I want it to be clockwise. So I'll just rotate around, have a look, and that looks like when I sweep cut my profile, it will put a proper thread through all of this, so I'll say OK. So next, I'm going to hide my plane because I don't like seeing them. What I need to do is sketch the thread profile where this point is. So whatever plane that points on, that's why it was important I started the helix at zero degrees. That'll put it on one of these standard planes. So it's not on my front, it's not on my top, but it does meet my right. So I'm going to select the right plane until I want to sketch in that, and I'll just look normal too. I'm going to zoom in down here. I'm going to use my mouse gestures to activate line, and near this point, but below it, I'm going to sketch a thread profile. I'm going to push escape. I'm going to add two center lines to this now. So I'm going to come up here, choose center line. I'm going to add one center line here. Move off, double click. And one center line from this midpoint that's horizontal out here, and I'll push escape. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Now I use mouse gestures to activate smart dimensions. So my thread angle, so the angle between these two lines, is 60 degrees. So I'm going to add 60 degrees. Then I'm going to push Escape because I also want to make sure that this entity, I'm going to select it, hold Control, select this entity, still holding Control, select the center line, release. I want a symmetry relationship here, so I'll add the symmetric relationship. Now I'll go back into Smart Dimension. I'm going to mention from the center line to this edge, and I'm going to make it 10,000. This number is not important because what I'm going to do, let me zoom out a bit. When I'm all done, I'm going to make this center line collinear with this part edge. I just want to make sure my thread profile extends beyond the part. It'll make it quicker for SolidWorks to solve how to cut this shape. So zoom back in here for a second. The next, I wanted to mention the thread depth. So I'll select this entity, and because I'd already selected the center line, it assumes I want a dimension to there, and I do. I'm going to click to place it. And the depth of any 60 degree external thread is 0.61343 times the pitch, which is 1 over 20. Again, this isn't exact, but if I were calculating the depth to cut my thread, this is the method I would use. So I have my depth. I'm going to push escape once. So I'm no longer dimensioning to the center line. Next, I want to set the flat size. So I'm going to grab this line, move over and click. And the flat is 0.125 times the pitch, which is 1 over 20. So I'll put in the equation, push enter, and I'm going to push escape. So now these are all the dimensions I need to cut the thread. If I want, I can right click on them and uncheck mark for drawing because I don't really want these on the drawing. I'll zoom out a bit and I'm going to get near this part edge. It should turn orange and I'm going to select it. 
So there I selected the whole face and it mean to. I'll click off in white space and I'll just reposition a bit. So I'll select just the edge. There I have just the edge. I'm going to hold control, select the center line, release control, and I'll make those collinear. If you're having difficulty selecting just your part edge, select the face, then right click, then move over here and use the select other option. Then you can move down and select the silhouette edge and now you've selected your part edge. And again, I can hold control, select the center line and add the collinear relationship. The last thing I wanna do is I wanna pierce this point here to the helix. So I select this point, I'm gonna hold control, select the helix near the end point, but not at the end point. I'm gonna release control and I'll add the pierce relationship. So my sketch is fully defined. So to do that again, I selected this end point, held control, selected the helix near the end, but not at the end. So now that my sketch is fully defined, I'm gonna exit it. I'll look at my part isometrically and I'm just gonna rotate around a bit. So I wanna use this sketch to cut this part following this profile. That's a sweep cut. So I'm gonna come up here and select sweep cut. It sees the profile because I had the sketch selected and next I need to tell it the path. So I'm just gonna click on this helix and I'll right click to accept it. I'm gonna come over here and hide my helix now and I've made a swept cut thread. 